Welcome back to JFM Wrestling. Today we are going to take a different approach to our videos and combine WWE with an event that is coming up in Las Vegas. The Super Bowl. It may not seem like it, but there are some ties between the WWE and the big game coming up, so let's get started. The WWE has had two Super Bowl commercials that I can remember. The first was in 1999 for Super Bowl 33. The Super Bowl that year was in Miami, Florida, and featured the Denver Broncos against the Atlanta Falcons. The ad was focused on stars of the Attitude Era of like Stone Cold, The Rock, Mankind, The Undertaker, and so on. It was a 30-second TV spot and cost approximately $1.6 million to buy. Due to copyrights, I cannot include the commercial on here. But I have left the audio and still photos so you can get an idea of it. Most people have the wrong impression about the World Wrestling Federation. We're a non-violent form of entertainment. Go! We never use sex to enhance our image. Yeah. As athletes, we understand the importance of being positive role models. We're good at wholesome family entertainment. We're trying to make the world a better place for mankind. WWF Attitude. Get it? The second ad came in 2022 for Super Bowl 56 in Los Angeles featuring the Rams and Bengals and was featured around WrestleMania 38. This ad ran about 6.5 million bucks and was a 30-second ad. Again, due to copyrights, I cannot include this commercial on here either. But once again, I have left the audio and still photos so you can get an idea of it. Amazing! Astounding! Marvelous! Astonishing, phenomenal, breathtaking, smashing, superb, fabulous, fantastic, tremendous, wondrous, monumental, mind-blowing, terrific, radical, colossal, dynamite, staggering. We are officially on the road to WrestleMania. Of course, there was the infamous halftime heat, which was around for three years. The first was in 1999 for the previously mentioned Super Bowl 33. This halftime heat was meant to accompany the commercial and a strategy of really branding the Attitude Era into pop culture. The match itself was an empty arena match between The Rock and Mankind in which Mick Foley won his second WWE title. Halftime Heat was back in 2000 featuring highlights from a bikini contest and a Hardy vs. Dudley's match both from the Royal Rumble. There was also a sit-down JR and Stone Cold interview. The Super Bowl in 2000 was number 34 and featured the Rams and Titans in a very good and close matchup. The last time Halftime Heat was brought back was for the NXT brand in 2019. It featured a six-man tag match from the WWE Performance Center. The teams were Alistair Black, Velveteen Dream, and Ricochet against Adam Cole, Johnny Gargano, and Tommaso Ciampa. It was broadcast over the WWE Network, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. The Super Bowl that was going on was 53 from Atlanta featuring the Patriots and the Rams. Another WWE and Super Bowl tie-in is the fact that WWE sends commemorative championship belts to the winners. This isn't just a tradition they do with the champions of football as it is spread to the NCAA, MLB, soccer, and many different competitions. Lastly, I wanted to mention an interview during the Super Bowl press row with 49ers star tight end and huge WWE fan George Kittle. Here are his words on the current happenings in WWE. Starting off hot, and I love it. That is the question I've been wanting to... Ooh. So, it's fun. You see everything online, and everyone's talking about we want Cody, or it's Roman and The Rock. You know what? I'm a huge Cody Rhodes fan. I, I like Roman Reigns. The Rock, A. Hey, he coined the term, the people's tight end, so I'm indebted to The Rock. Huge fan of him. Honestly, my dream would be like uh, kind of a setup. Roman shows up. I saw this online. Roman shows up, signs a contract. Cody's on the other side. The Rock referees. Wouldn't that be fun and special? Let's, let's just let's make it fun and interesting. That was not my own idea, but I thought it was really cool. Well, there we have it. 
a pretty extensive list of tie-ins between WWE and the NFL's big game. What are your thoughts? Any favorite memories of the commercials or halftime heat or maybe just thoughts or memories of any Super Bowls? Until next time, friends, be well and I'll catch you in the next video.